Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, good evening teacher. Hi, good evening, Jose Milcar. Hello, Maria Magdalena. Magdalena. <laughs> good evening, teacher. I oh. am sick. You're sick. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Wear a mask. <laughs> I usually listen to your class. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Just wait. Where are the others? That's yesterday's class, by the way. Anyways, I guess they sent it. Okay, please turn on your camera. Remember, try, try to have your camera on. It's very important. Okay, so tonight we have to continue. Yesterday you had homework. Remember the homework? Huh. What was the homework? Wilbur, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Doing good, doing good. I just repaired my car. It was so I'm very happy right now. It was difficult, but I was able to repair my car. You want to see my car? This is my car. See the car? That's the car. It's a it's a golf. <laughs> That's my car <laughs> from 1978. Very old. Okay. So let's let's start. Where is your homework? Hi, Juan Carlos. Welcome. Okay. Hey, homework. Homework. Go to the chat. Give me your homework. <laughs> Work. Okay, remember three sentences using frequency adverbs. Using frequency adverbs in Spanish. So let's start. Jose Milka, can you tell your sentence in Spanish to Herbert? So he can translate to English. In Spanish. Yes, say your sentence. So Herbert can say it in English. Mm. Okay. That was the homework yesterday. Let me give you an example. Uh, Baudilio. Sí, fue la tarea de ayer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, for example, uh, Baudilio. Yeah. Yo hago mi tarea todos los días. Translate. I may. Okay, let's I use. Home. Do, uh -huh, I do. I do. My homework. Every day. Easy. Okay. Go, Jose Milcar. In español y en inglés. No. Just say a name. For example, I said Baudilio. Baudilio translated. You can say Herbert. You can say David, Enrique, Oscar. 
Ok. Me gusta pasar en familia el fin de semana. Hmm. Hmm. Where is the frequency? ¿Todos los fines Eh, de semana? yes. Ok. Me gusta... Who? Who? ¿Quién va a traducir, José Amilcar? Eh, María Lourdes. Ok, María Lourdes. Muy buena, María Lourdes. <ríe> Me gusta pasar el fin de semana. Ah. I like. Wait, wait. Ah, me gusta pasar todos los fines de semana. Ajá. I like all weekend with my family. One more time. I like. I like. I like all weekend. How do you say pasar? I like visit. Mm -mm. Visit, no. Sí, visitar, pero pasar. Spend. Spend. Oh, spend, Edmundo. Thank you. Spend. I like spend. With my family all weekend. Excellent. Very close. Thank you. I like to spend all weekends with my family. Really quick. Let's review this really quick. These are verbs of necessity. Okay. Verbs of necessity. Oh, my God. Nece. Necessity, necessity. Well, a uh, need verbs. Let's say, let's call them need verbs because I need verbs. What are the need verbs? We have some. We have have, love, need, like, want, and I think I'm missing some. Okay. Pay attention, please. If what you are going to say is a verb, okay? If you need to say a verb after these ones, after these verbs, you need to use the preposition to, okay? To. If you're going to use a verb, okay? So, how do you say, a mí me gustan las pupusas? No? If what you're going to say is a noun, a noun, then you don't need, you do not need the preposition to. For example, I like pupusas. I like pupusas. How do you say, a mí me gusta comer pupusas? Jose Milcar, how do you say, a mí me gusta comer pupusas? I like I like tu pupusas. Oh, wait. ¿Y el comer? It. It. Okay. I like to eat pupusas. Bien, súper rápido. Si tengo cualquiera de esos verbos de necesidad, como yo les llamo, voy a ocupar el, la preposición to. Si lo que sigue después de cualquiera de estos verbos es otro verbo, lo voy a separar con to. Si lo que sigue es un nombre, un noun, ¿ok? No necesito la preposición to. Si solo quiero decir que a mí me gusta, que yo tengo, que yo amo, que yo necesito, que yo quiero, pupusas, 
no necesito la preposición to. Ok, yo quiero pupusas. I want pupusas. Ok. Got it? Got it? Ok, good. Esto es rápido, esto es, eh, no es algo muy difícil, solo recuerden utilizarlo de esa manera. ¿Qué voy a decir? Un verbo a continuación de like, want, have, need. Ok. So, how do you say, uh, yo te amo? O yo te quiero, ajá. Uh -huh. I love you. I love you. A ver, María de Lourdes, ¿y cómo diría entonces? Yo quiero quererte. Yo quiero quererte. I want to love. I wanna love you. Hey, good. Uh -huh. There's a song. Yes. I, I want to love you. Very good. That's the song. I want to love you. Es muy diferente. I want you or I love you. Espero que les haya quedado eso claro. Es algo bien sencillo de utilizar al principio. Ok, um, Enrique, do you have a question? Sí, teacher. Tenía una, una, este, las oraciones que usted dejó, tenía una por ahí para que me ayuden a, a escribirla y ver si está bien para que me corrijan. Según Good. Una que dejado. Perfect. Cool. El, ajá. Pero voy a decir la oración. Ok, ¿quién la va a traducir? Eh, que me apoya ahí el Baudilio. Ah, me apoya Mr. Baudilio. Ok. Eh, la, la, la oración es, yo nunca he viajado a China. Uy, bien, alto. Antes de continuar, eh, yo nunca he he viajado sería presente perfecto ¿cómo sería en presente simple? a uh, Enrique espero que Enrique lo haga ¿cómo sería en presente simple en español esa oración? Yo nunca he viajado a China yo nunca viajo a China okay. yo nunca viajo a China yo nunca viajo a China very good, Audilio Um, I never travel to China, Chinese. To China. Very good. I never travel to China. Okay. Excelente. Gracias. Good job. Good job. Okay. Continue, Baudilio. Give your sentence to someone else. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, veamos bueno, el señor Enrique Pérez leemos ok, let's see Mr. Enrique Pérez leemos, ok hey, let's see. Hey, Mr. Baudilio he is uh, uh, payback sentence quickly, uh, quickly. Oh, no. easy yeah. payback easy. <laughs> okay. ok, make it easy repeat, make it easy please Una oración, una oración que sea fácil. Come on, Enrique, repeat. Make it easy, please. Make it uh, easy, please. Make it easy, please. Okay, go ahead. Make it easy. Okay. Um, ¿Cuál es la oración, este, Audilio? Siempre practico fútbol todas las tardes. Hmm. Uh, Todas las tardes, va. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Oh, in English is soccer. <laughs> uh -huh. I always to practice hmm. soccer. Eh, every afternoon. ¿Es así, teacher? Close. 
You're very close. Uh -huh. do, what do we need to correct? What do we need to correct in this sentence? I always to practice soccer every afternoon. Thank you, teacher. Okay, what do we correct? There is something that we don't need. The, par the particle uh, two. Excellent, the preposition. We the don't preposition. need we don't need the preposition. I always <laughs> practice soccer every afternoon. Okay, so here I practice soccer every afternoon. I always practice soccer every afternoon. Give me just one second, please. One minute. Sorry guys, I have a a hosh key and sometimes it's, it's a nightmare sometimes. <laughs> okay, so do you have questions with the frequency adverbs? Remember, frequency adverbs always come before the verb. Now let's practice something. Necesito que todos participen, so Cecia, can you make this sentence negative? I always practice soccer every afternoon. Can you make it negative? Negative form. Yep. I... Don't practice soccer every afternoon. Where is the frequency? Well, every afternoon, right? I don't practice. I don't practice soccer. Um, every afternoon. Every afternoon. Okay. Can you make it a question, uh, Mr. Susanya? What practice soccer mm, every okay. afternoon? Okay, instead of what, we need to start with the auxiliary. Necesitamos comenzar con el auxiliar del presente simple. Do. Do, excellent. Do. Do practice soccer every afternoon. Do I? Practice soccer every afternoon. Afternoon. Af afternoon. Very good. Afternoon. El, el labio inferior se mete debajo de los dientes superiores y sopla un poco. Af afternoon. Okay. Now, we're about to see how questions. Okay. And for this topic, how often? How often? So... Para hacer una pregunta abierta con how often, voy a ocupar ese how often antes de una pregunta cerrada, de una yes, no question. Miren qué fácil. Solo agrego el how often antes del do. Ok. So how often do I practice soccer? Ahora, ¿qué, está, qué les parece raro? Eh? Esto parece raro, ¿no? El tener el every afternoon. Uy, me comí la griega. Okay. How often do I practice soccer? Every afternoon. No tendría sentido. Entonces, quito la frecuencia porque esa es la respuesta. Okay. La respuesta al how often siempre será la frecuencia. ¿Con qué frecuencia hago algo? How often do I practice soccer? 
every afternoon. Quiero extender la respuesta. I practice soccer every afternoon. ¿Ok? Regla general, siempre la WH, la pregunta WH siempre va antes de la pregunta cerrada. So, tonight we have to practice that. We have to learn how to make questions. Okay. How to make questions with how often, how long, how well, or how good. Can ask in order. Okay. So, general grammar. Eh, Súper rápido. Quiero que le pongan atención eh, a, un, a dos detalles. Uno, si ustedes practican la dieta que les he dejado como extra, van a agarrar rápido la gramática y entender que el auxiliar, ese do, ¿ok? O el verbo to be, ¿ok? Van a ir presentes en preguntas cerradas. Do you work out? ¿Sí? Do you work out? El auxiliar, el sujeto y el complemento. Do you play tennis? El auxiliar, el sujeto, el verbo, ¿ok? el complemento. Do you play tennis? De nuevo, do you spend at the gym? Aquí falta algo, no soy raro, solo poner do you spend at the gym? Do you spend time at the gym? ¿Por qué no está ese time? ¿Por, por qué solo dice gastas en el gimnasio? Porque how long significa cuánto tiempo en este contexto. También significa ¿Qué distancia? Pero aquí lo vamos a ocupar como ¿Cuánto tiempo? How long do you spend at the gym? ¿Ok? Cuando ocupo el verbo to be, siempre el auxiliar, que es en este el caso es el verbo to be, va primero, luego tengo el sujeto y el complemento. ¿Ok? Aquí estoy preguntando ¿Qué cosa? How good? How good? Enrique? Si how long es cuánto tiempo, ¿qué será how good? Eh, ¿Qué tan bueno? Excellent. Are you at sports? How good are you at sports? ¿Qué tan bueno eres para el deporte tú? Perfect. Excellent. I am bad. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm bad. Excellent. You answer with the verb to be. I'm pretty good. I'm okay. I'm not so good. I'm not so good. Okay. So, decíamos, how often do you work out? How often do you take a shower? How often do you play tennis? How often do you go to the beach? How often do you go to El Tunco? How often do you visit your parents? ¿Con qué frecuencia? So, ¿con qué frecuencia? I answer with frequency. Every day, twice a week, not very often, seldom, always, every weekend. Okay? How long? How much time do you spend at the gym? Let me make a question to, let's see, Herbert. Herbert is this. How long do you work? How long do you work every day? Oh, your microphone. <laughs> Uh, el micrófono, Herbert. <laughs> eh, repeat, teacher. How long do you work every day? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Ah. How long do you work every day? Work every day. 
Eh, ¿Cuánto tiempo vas al gym? Algo así. La, la, la. No. How long do you work at the PNC? ¿Cuánto tiempo trabajas? Mm -hmm. Every day. How long do you work every day? Eh, estamos hablando de 16 horas. I work 16 I, hours. I work 16 hours. Hours every day. Excellent. Every day. Excellent. I work 16, I work 16 hours, hours every, day. every day. There you go. Okay. You see, and that's the way you answer time, time, 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekends. David Antonio, how long do you study English every day? Repeat, teacher, please. How long do you study English every day? I study two hours every day. Two hours, two hours every day. Okay, good. How well, how well do you aim? <laughs> Let's see, to uh, El Mundo. How well do you aim? El Mundo, how well do you aim? Aim, yeah. Can you say shoot? Shoot? Oh, good, yes. How well do you shoot? Shoot, yeah. Uh... I should uh, usually in the academy. Yeah? That I how, should usually. No, no, no. How, you, uh, how well? Oh, pretty, how well? Pretty, pretty well. Average. No, no, uh, no pretty well. I, 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 I shoot pretty well. Yeah? I shoot pretty well. Okay, yeah. I shoot pretty well. Okay, mm -hmm. how about you? How about you, Enrique? How well do you shoot? Pretty well, about average, más o menos, about average, or not very well, no muy bien. Not very well. Not very well, okay. Okay, so how well, cuán bien, dispara, se estaba preguntando, eh. Tiene buena puntería, okay. How well do you play tennis? How well do you play basketball? Um, let me see who plays basketball here. Wilbur, how well do you play basketball? I, I know I play basket. Not very well. So, no. <laughs> Not very well. How well do Not you play? Well. How well do you play soccer? Not, I, not very well. Not very well. Okay, Cecia, how good are you at basketball? I no play basketball. I don't play basketball. Repeat, I don't play basketball. I don't play basketball. Okay. Good. So, repeat, repito. Uh, how often, con qué frecuencia haces algo? Okay. How long, por cuánto tiempo haces algo? Okay. How long do you take a shower? How long do you take a shower? Maria Lourdes, yes. I have a question. Yes. Uh, when to use um, how well and how good? And that's okay. How well? Juan bien juegas algo. How good are you? Que tan bueno eres? Okay. 
there's a little difference, in a pequeña diferencia. Okay. How well do you play the guitar? Que también. Okay. How good are you with the guitar? It's the same thing. Es lo mismo. Que también tocas o que tan bueno eres. I'm asking the same thing. What is the difference? What is the difference? The auxiliary. I use the verb to be. Que tan bueno eres. I use the auxiliary for actions. Do. Que también haces algo. Okay? Okay, And thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's move on to the next chapter to know frequency and performance okay now at this point we are on section one let's go to section two tonight we're starting with section two. Oh, sorry i just clicked something else okay so health and fitness, we have a quiz here. Before I do this, let me do the attendance. Please turn on your cameras. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Sorry guys, just a minute. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, just a minute. This is the problem with having a dog. Okay. Okay. Arles Ernesto Lopez. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramirez. Uh, I am here, teacher. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Thank you. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Present teacher. David Antonio Rosales Garcia. Present teacher. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Edmundo Antonio Martínez Lucha. Present teacher. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present teacher. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present teacher. Good. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Present teacher. Present. Herbert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Okay, ya lo vi. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia present Guevara. Present teacher. Uh, sorry, that was... Present José Amilcar Reyes Cruz, present. Thank you. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. I can see you, José Benjamín. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, present, present teacher. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Arrazabal Calderón. Juan Francisco. Okay. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Present teacher. Thank you. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Present teacher. Thank you. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present teacher. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Present teacher. I am here. Thank you. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Just out of curiosity, uh, Salvador Enrique Hernández Vázquez. Creo que solo nos acompañó ese día, esta vez en otro grupo, quizás. Ok. Oh, lista. Hey. Este, ahí el compañero Juan Francisco Arazaba, está mal de salud. Ah, ok, pero está acá. 
no, no se ha conectado, creo que Ah, iba ok. en fiebre alta hoy por la mañana. Ay, uh, no. Ok. Well, ok. Teacher, excuse me. Hey. Um, el compañero Manrique también este, a veces solo se conecta porque a veces viene manejando en este horario, pero no sé Entiendo. si ahora... Díganles que por favor nos escriban nada más en el chat para estar pendientes, ¿ok? Thank you, thank you. Ok, so we have health and fitness. This is a quiz. <clears throat> This is a quiz. This is an exam that you can take, ¿ok? Um, in a piece of paper you can find out how fit you are. How fit you are. How does this work? Hold on, let me make this bigger. So this is on your page. Uh, well, it's on your platform. Hold on. But first, we're going to do this, the video of har I hardly ever exercise. I almost never. Oh, no, we, we did it, right? Remember? Did we? Yeah, we did that. The video of har hardly ever. Rosso teacher. Okay, so this is what I was waiting, yeah. En inglés como es borroso. Blurry. Blurry. Hold on, where are we? No, 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 okay. This thing is taking me. There's a quiz that you have to complete. Okay, this is what we have to do. Yes, this is the section number two. Um, as you were told today, así como se les explicó ahora, eh, un compañero envió cómo tenemos que ir avanzando, ¿no? So, para esta semana tenemos las secciones uno y dos. So let's move on to section number two. After talking about frequency adverbs. So, did you do anything? We have a new conversation between two people. Did you do anything? Hiciste algo? Okay. That's the meaning of the question. Did you do anything? This is simple past. Okay. So let me start the video so you can Hi see to better. all. Welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Okay, and si lograron identificar lo que decía el recording, um, hay que identificar y escribir los verbos que ustedes crean que están en pasado, ¿ok? Vamos a comenzar a ver el pasado simple, ya no el presente, ¿ok? So, let's talk about this conversation first. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Again, so what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to... to Lucky's? Sorry, Lucky's. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. You always get an A. One more time. So what do you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. 
We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and started for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. Verbs in past. Do you see any verbs in past? Yes, I see. I see how, some, did. Okay. Wait, 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 went, went, stayed, uh, started, forgot, 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 sang, did, didn't. Okay, you said sang, uh, you were not in order, I'm sorry, sang, uh, went, went, I got it, didn't, went didn't, again, went, went, went again, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, stayed, stayed. I just stayed, stayed, uh huh, home and started, started for today's Spanish for, for, test. Forgot, for, 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 forgot, forgot. Okay, uh, where was that? I spent it. I forgot a lot about that. I forgot all about. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Okay, so this is simple past. What is the difference? Instead of do, you need to use. Did. That's the difference. You use did. Okay. As auxiliary, you use did. Number two, if this is not a question or a negative, then the verbs are in past. Okay. But we will talk about the grammar in a minute. Now let's practice just for nine minutes. Okay. Just nine minutes. Let's practice together. I'll send you this. To your WhatsApp. Okay, I'll send you this to your WhatsApp so you can practice with your classmates just for nine minutes, okay? Simple, simple. Eh, super rápido, no se concentren en que, ah, voy yo primero, no, me toca a mí, no, le toca a usted, no, yo soy fulano, yo soy fulana, no, 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 just go, de un solo. Empieza a leer y que alguien más conteste. Solo son dos personas en la conversación, ¿ok? Y repetir varias veces, no solo porque ya lo hice una vez, ah, lo veo, ya no lo quiero hacer. No, let's do it many times, ¿ok? Let's go. Vaya, adelante, adelante. Démosle. Adelante, adelante. Eh, but, <coughs> Ricky Megan dice, <coughs> so what, so what did you do last weekend, Meg? Megan, Meg. ¿Dónde está? <coughs> Al Vallero, contesta. Quite al chat. Al WhatsApp, viste, ahí está. <coughs> Mira, una conversación es. Muy bien, entonces. Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That song, like fun, fun. Did you go to look it? No, we did it. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't. I didn't go. Um, eso no sé cómo se pronuncia, compañero. Anywhere. Anyway, yes. 
Anywhere. 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 Uh, weekend, anywhere. All weekend. I use stayed, stayed home and student for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah? Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. You always with um. Ah. Get up. Hey. Get up. Hey. Ay, que me estoy ahogando. Voy a ir por un vaso de agua. Bar in San. With song. Friends on Saturday. But if you do last weekend, then song, song, lay, song, deal, you go to leakings, lookings. No, we di didn't, didn't, we went that's to that new place, downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go any hers all weekend and no, use a stadium, a stadium home and student home to a Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forget all about that. Don't worry. You are going to have an uh, hey. Okay. Look, is yeah. No, we didn't. We went to that new place, Danto. How 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 about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studying for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get up get on A. So what did you do less? We can meet. Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That's on live phone. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go. And where? A weekend. I host. Did you? Ya no nos dejaron. Ya, ay Dios, mano. <risa> dale, dale, ahí está el teacher escuchando para corregirnos. Vaya, pues ahorita, ahorita le vamos a hacer caso. Ahí está, pe. Ya. Eh. Hi, how are you? ¿Eh? Ya lo van a Van a practicar ustedes dos ahorita. Vamos a practicar nosotros dos. Va, pues, démosle, pues. Démosle. Va, pues, va. Yo bajé Ricky Marty y vos, este... Yo soy Meg. Mega, Megadolón. <risa> Meg Ryan. Va, pues. Bueno, pues. So what do you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a grand time. I went to a karaoke bar. Son fian on Saturday. That son like fun. Did you go to Lucky? Uh, no, no, we, we didn't. We went to Tan News Place. So, so, all about you. Did you go anywhere? anywhere. No, I did go. Anywhere, a weekend, I use a style home and student for today. Spanish test. Oh, Spanish test is today. 
I forget all about time. About, creo que es. About that. About that. Don't worry, you always uh, get a. I I No. You first. So So what did you do last weekend? Meet. Oh, I had a great time. I went to karaoke bar and some with some friends on Saturday. That some live phone? Did you go? Did you go to Lucas? No, we didn't. We went to that new place. Dumb Tom, how about how about it? Did you go on anywhere? 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 Huh? Anywhere? Anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stand study home and studying for today's Spanish test. Okay, I think we're back. So, simple past. Uh, hmm. I shared with you a list of verbs. Give me just a minute because we're missing seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Okay, uh, procuremos si los he dividido, regresar en cuanto termine la sesión de esta de, de breakout rooms, ok super rápido um, I shared with you uh, some... hay question. yes, José Benjamín Sí, con un ejercicio teacher allí en la plataforma el 1.13 pues no hay o cómo subir la respuesta no sé si me puede ayudar 1.13 sure Sí. es de completar una Completar una hoja, the take is and add a you score and pierce the paper. Oh, oh. It, it's, in, it's in Spanish here as well. Teacher, uh, esta, teacher. Oh, what? Esta. La que uh -huh. tiene ahorita. Uh -huh. You have to, you can print uh -huh. it. Entonces, ¿qué tengo que hacer? ¿La escaneo, la subo? ¿Qué hago? Porque no. No, no, no. It's just a practice. Ese es el problema que tengo yo también. Sí, lo que pasa es que no nos señala que ya la hicimos, la enviamos y nos queda siempre activa. Ok, you can add something here. Pueden agregar algo acá. Ok, let me see if I show the answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí, yo ajá, por ahora pues, pienso enviar tal vez algo, alguna hoja con la respuesta, porque si sí, no me da, no me deja pasar. O sea, me pa paso, pero no me la pone como que la he hecho. Lo voy a reportar porque si sí, no hay una opción para introducir una respuesta. Así es, dicho. That's true. Debería haber una. Debería haber, aunque sea un, un checkmark o algo. Ok. Very okay. Good. Thank you. Good job. Ok. So, uh, let's talk about simple past. Solo tengo tres minutos para explicarles eso. Bueno, cuatro, cinco. So, <laughs> how do we do this? Voy a hacer, como les decía, yo soy de los profesores que piensan en su experiencia aprendido que la gramática, cuando se ve por primera vez, algunos de ustedes ya vieron esto, pero otros no. So, es importante entenderla 
eh, eh, en primer lugar con los adultos en su contexto, ¿no? Así de que Enrique, dígame una oración en español en, um, en pasado. Español. ¿En español? Ajá. Sí. Ok. Eh, yo viajé a Brasil en el 2010. Ok. Bien, súper bien. Eh, José Benjamín, una oración en pasado en español. Yo jugué básquetbol en el colegio en el año 1970. Tenía, okay. tenía como cinco años. Ok. Entonces, si se fijan, es muy apegado. Hasta este punto aún sigue siendo muy apegado el español, el inglés. Tengo un sujeto, yo, tengo sí. un verbo, pero sí. en pasado. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, eso es lo que quería anotar. ¿eh? En primer lugar, hay que ubicarse en el tiempo gramatical en el español, porque venimos de decir, yo juego básquetbol en el colegio. ¿Ok? No puedo decir en 1970, es algo que ocurre. Yo jugué Okay. Y todo lo demás puede seguir tal cual. Ah, ok. School, let's say. In 1970. Ok. I played basketball at school in 1970. Lo mismo, eh. Yo viajé. I traveled to Brazil in 2010. Muy apegado al español. Hasta este punto sigue siendo así. ¿Qué es lo complejo de este tiempo? Eh, principalmente los verbos en pasado. Hay dos tipos. Hay verbos regulares y hay verbos irregulares. Por eso el listado de verbos que les envié, si se fijaron, si ya lo imprimieron y lo están utilizando para hacer su tarea diario, ven que hay columnas, ¿no? Bueno, está dividido en dos secciones. La, la segundo, el segundo listado de verbos. Dice verbos regulares al principio y dice verbos irregulares. Creo que empieza con los verbos irregulares. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Los verbos regulares solo se les agrega ed al final y ya son pasados. Los verbos irregulares cambian por completo su estructura. Un verbo regular podría ser play. Agrego ed. Um, talk. Agrego ed y ya es pasado. Talked. ¿Ok? Sin embargo, speak ya se convierte en spoke. ¿Ok? Um, drive se convierte en driven or drove, sorry, drove. Drive, drove. Y así, ¿no? Ese es lo, lo dificultoso. Ahora, me voy a preocupar de esto solo cuando tengo una oración afirmativa. En oraciones afirmativas es muy parecido al español. La estructura de español que vienes de ver, lo mismo. Sujeto, verbo, y complemento. La diferencia es que ahora el verbo va a ir en pasado para una oración afirmativa. ¿Ok? En la negativa, vamos a hacer esto rapín para entenderlo luego. ¿eh? Tengo un sujeto, ahora el auxiliar. Ya no es do, does como antes, ahora es didn't. ¿Ok? Did not o didn't. Abreviado. Oops, sorry. Ahí, didn't. Did not, didn't, ok. Ahora bien, cuando hago una pregunta o hago una negativa, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Ok. En su forma base, base. Y el complemento. Es decir, en negativa, si en preguntas, ya no me preocupo por el verbo. ¿Por qué? Porque está el auxiliar. Lo mismo pasa con las preguntas. Igual que en el presente simple. Empiezo con el auxiliar. Ya no es do, does, ahora es did. El sujeto, el verbo. ¿Ok? En su forma base, de nuevo. Eso no lo tienen que olvidar. Y el complemento. Ahora, no se les olvide el question mark. El question mark. Teacher, ¿nos puede enviar eso ahí para que nos quede como archivo? Puntualito. 
Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Bien, eh, de hecho esa es la intención, ¿no? Ya terminamos la clase. Tengo desde este día comienzo clase a las 8 de la noche. Así es de que terminaré en este momento la sesión. Les envío esto para que ustedes puedan comenzar a practicar. Y durante las siguientes dos horas les estaré enviando información a su WhatsApp. Ok. Good night. Sí. See you tomorrow, Good night. teacher. Sí. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Take care.